what's up guys we're back i know it took a little bit but uh we've been dealing with some some triple digit heat and i wasn't trying to be out here working on the truck but we're back now uh today we're going to install the the avs uh shade door kits okay so obviously you see these are these are quite a bit different these are these are gear driven where the other ones are uh they're basically just a, the old school solenoid and uh, i'll show you once i get these out so we're gonna put these in and then we have all this stuff right here to go with it so this right here to me is pretty uh it's pretty plain and simple everything is really it's it's all uh yeah everything's wired you know as far as backup or you know output the driver's door so this stuff is all this is all really simple to me so but the problem that I, the part that I'm worried about is this right here. So I bought this prestige alarm and well, I tell you what, there are a ton of wires that go to this one here. So I, I don't even know. There's probably like 20 wires in there. So I'm going to try and do this install myself. So we'll see how that goes. Fortunately, the truck actually has, has a, uh, has an alarm on it right now. Um, so I'm hoping a lot of the wires that are needed to get tapped into are already done. So I'm hoping I can find a lot of them that way, but we'll get into that later. And then this also, well, can you see it really well? So this is basically, it's just an emergency a latch in case your battery dies or something like that. So we're not, we, we are, we're not, we're not going to put this on there, but, uh, basically you can see right here. This, uh, this actually hook up to one of the, one of the doors and then you hide this somewhere on the truck. So when you pull it, this will pull your latch and then your, your actual door pusher right here will open your door for you. So this is for emergency situations and we'll get that installed too. So that'd be part of the video also, but right now we're going to do this one right here. So once I figure out which one goes to which. I don't know, so we're gonna figure them out. So let's go over Obviously, there. Obviously, like well, I showed you before, we already have our door panel off. We've already removed a lot of the stuff that needs to be out of here. So here, let me see, let me show it to them. So, like, you, like I showed you before, one of the main problems right here is we're grounded to the door. This is a big no-no. We don't ever wanna be grounded right there. Um, and the main reason why is because these are your ground points right here. So as you can see, you got you got bushings, you got paint, you know, you got everything in there and you're not, you're not ever going to get a good ground. So we, we're going to replace that. So there you can see the, that's actually a new solenoid, but I think just because everything is kind of, it's just not put together well, it's not working well. And, and I just wanted new stuff too, because this is how it's mounted right here. You just got a, a bolt right there. It just doesn't look good so we're gonna get that out of there so let's do that right now <laughs> so this is a this is a brand new one you can tell I mean how nice it how nice it looks uh, you got your uh, you got your power, you got your ground, and when you hit your button, it actually sucks up in here. Boom! And when it does that, then it pulls down on your door latch right here, and opens it up. So, uh, I mean these 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 are fine. They've they've uh, you know they've been used for years like this, and but uh, you know I'm hoping I'm hoping that this other stuff is. A little bit nicer it's a newer product so we'll see uh we'll see how these work out um yeah. there down there. okay all right so before you start any of this project the first thing you want to do is is disconnect your battery because you are going to be messing with the power wires and uh all that good stuff so to avoid any of these accidents we'll get this thing disconnected real quick All right, so here's the, this is the, the old power, power wire. And then obviously 
should be ran right through here. So all I'm doing is just pulling it through just like that. And then we'll figure out the rest of that later. So right now, as you can see, let's see if you can get it in there and see. So right here is the mechanism for opening the, the I don't know if I can get in there and show you guys. But you see like right here, you see this white piece right here and then right next to it, right there is that circle right there. So, so when, when this pulls down right here, you can see it moving there a little bit. That is what, that's what opens this right here. So what we need to do now is get these pulled apart and obviously you can see we're missing one so that's something we're gonna have to get replaced so these right here we've got the torque screws you can see those right there so just put them in there and pop them off Alright, so here we got the door latch out. So I went ahead and unplugged all the wires. Uh, you will not use this one, so make sure you, uh, I know before it wasn't plugged in when I when I first seen it. So and we will not leave it. We won't leave it plugged in. So that one will we'll probably tie it and strap it up real nice so it's out of the way. Um, so what we got here uh, is you can actually have three different models of latches. Um, there's two other ones other than this one that you could use so some of them don't have this mechanism right here and what this does is when you when you actually open your door this is what actually turns on your dome light so uh, you want to keep it um, but it does get in the way and it kind of makes the install a little bit tougher on this one and initially I was my thought just because you got these three bolt these three right here I was thinking it was gonna mount something like this and mount somehow or whatever like this uh, it's similar to the same bolt pattern but that's not how it actually mounts so what you got is you have these three right here so you got one two three holes right here so they're just plastic um, they're not they're not threaded there's no threads in there so you gotta be real careful putting them in these because it's my guess that these are strip out real easy so you don't want to go too hard on them um so basically what we're gonna do is get this mechanism out of the way of this rod and then uh you just now you kind of see how the holes are going to line up right here but it is a tight fit so you gotta you gotta work it in underneath that rod and it's not it's not the easiest thing to do there we go so what works for me coming in this way and then just kind of flatten it out there right there so now now we got it in there pretty much but so then you got this latch see this little elbow right here it needs to go around this right here really secure it in so kind of pull it down and get it around there we go there it is that's it right there so now we're see how we're secured can you see it in the camera so right here you can see where that this is actually hooks around the bottom of this latch so now you know we'll test fit make sure everything is not binding up nothing's hitting really so and then we'll, we'll get off to this next part so what we're going to do right now is uh it only re it's got the three holes here because if you don't have this mechanism then you can use this top one but since we have this mechanism uh we're only going to use the bottom two holes so we're going to use these two and not this top one and 
be honest with you, I really don't even like how you can see how it's hitting this rubber boot. I'm not really a big fan of it, but I don't think it's going to make a big deal either way. I mean, me, preferably, I would, I would like to just remove this so it's not even in the way, but... So, what am I going to do here? Where are those screws go? Oh, here's two, here's the screws right here. So, we're just going to get these screws. Okay, so, let's start this bottom one right here. Get it lined up good. Oh yeah, see those those actually go in pretty pretty well. We don't want to tighten it all the way down first. We'll start this other one, get them pretty close to being on the same page. Let me change this out. So what I'm doing right here, you can still see there's a lip right there, or a little gap. So, we just don't want to get, we don't want to go too much, because what once you strip that out, it's a wrap. Then you got to do all kinds of stuff to MacGyver it back to fit and good. There we go. So, test it, that's good. That ain't going to go nowhere. All right, nope. so... We got we got a, the screw that's provided, a washer, and a, a lock nut. So what we're gonna do is right here, this portion right here, we'll hook up to this right here. So so we're gonna start through, go through the actual uh, the plastic piece first then into here and then place the lock nut or the washer and then the lock nut so this is where it gets kind of weird so what we're going to do on this now let's see what size these are so push this out a little bit here just tighten this up So what I did, so you can see it's, you can see how it's still loose right here. There's plenty of room. So what they say is to just go flush with the bolt and the, they don't want to tighten down on it because it can cause, um, sometimes this thing can twist up and bind. And if it gets twist up and bind, then I think what happens is the gears on the inside won't allow it to, to close or open correctly. So if it's opened up, and these get twisted up and you go to shut your door, it's just gonna hit your uh, your door popper and it's it's not gonna latch. So they just say to leave it just like this, um, just with a little bit sticking out right there, with it being a lock nut, I I mean, I, I don't think you're ever gonna have any issues with it. And then that's it right there. So, I mean, as you can see, this is, it, it's pretty nice. It's got some stuff I, I you know, I kind of don't like, I don't, I don't like this right here rubbing, but I mean, it's not really a big deal. It's not going to do anything. Um, this right here is, it's kind of, kind of hokey. Um, I understand why it needs to be done like that, but you know, hopefully over time it doesn't actually wear this out itself right here. I don't know if if it's pulling that much pressure if it actually start wearing out this section and but i mean that would probably be over a very very long period of time but so we'll see so that's it right there and then obviously right here we have our our connectors that uh come with the rest of the kit so we'll get it put it back in there and keep on rolling
All right, so I'm just going to take this here, this one that we're not going to use, and just zip tie it to the wire itself. And the reason why we want to zip tie these or tape them, do whatever, do whatever you feel works for you, but you don't want these getting in the way of the window track or anything like that and getting stuck in your window and then you got, you got all that drama to deal with. So we just hit them right here. That'll keep it out of the way pretty good. Then you ain't got to worry about it. So I'll get these top two plugged back in here. Cool. So, and if I didn't show you before, I don't remember if I did. To get these out, you just push them up just like that, and then they'll pop right out. Same thing. So push it up, pull out. Sometimes they, sometimes they're a little tough. So you can grab this side and just kind of wiggle it, wiggle it back and forth. It'll come right out for you. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's it. So we'll get it back in there. See how we're not lining up right here? Mm-hmm. Oh. Let's show you why. Right there. We're hitting right there. Go go get a black pin. I guess it's just part of doing custom stuff. You're gonna run into stuff like this, so either one is fine. So I'll show you what we're gonna do to get around dealing with this. Here you go. So he's just pinned it. There we go. So as you can see, I just I just marked it. Just a little bit to so I know exactly where that's at. Let me take it apart. All right. So obviously I, I marked this one here, and what I was gonna do is I was just gonna dremel this out right here, and I decided I just I didn't want to mess with this. So I'd rather get this extra piece of metal in here and work on it. So what I got is one of my cutting tools on my dremel, and I grabbed the. Uh, grinding stone also um, I don't know which one's gonna work easier I got a feeling it's gonna be this one and since I marked it in there uh, I will I'm just gonna cut out cut out a little bit of this first and see what happens right, you ready? yeah took out a little bit I don't know if that's gonna be enough but we'll just do a little check first
so you can you can kind of see right there how much metal we had to take out and what ended up happening is I initially started the mark well you could see on the right side right there where I had a bigger gap and then as we suck the bolts in it actually it pulls it pull this bracket this bracket this direction with the way my fingers point there and what it does is then it was pushing up against this and it was actually pulling it out so now you could see as I could push it forward I got room over there so nothing is binding so that's where we're at now uh, we just got the wires here we'll get that stuff ran then we'll go from there here's the pull rod for the door I know I didn't show you it earlier so I'm gonna show you now here hold this So it just goes in the hole right there, and then you push this clip, this retaining clip, like that. There you go. That's it out. That's it out. So, so I'm just screw that right. So this door locks. There it is. That's nice simple. Yeah. All right, cool. Now we'll just.